this video, what we're going to learn about is the circumference formula. First of all, you need to know what circumference means. Circumference is the distance around a circle. If you actually took a string or a wire or a measuring tape and put it around a circle, around a circle, if I actually measured the distance around this particular circle, if I started at point A and walked or measured all the way around back in inches or centimeters or feet, I know what the circumference is. It's how far around the circle. Okay, it's, it goes. It's, it's similar to perimeter, but it's only for circles. You don't have circumference for squares or triangles. There you have perimeter. In circles, you talk about circumference. That's pretty much all the difference is. Okay? So this is your formula. And what this formula stands for. The C stands for circumference. The D stands for diameter. Okay? This symbol here is pi, which you might know is 3.14. The calculator also has an estimate for it. Okay? So in this chart, I give you three different variables, and you need to solve for it. They're missing ones. R stands for radius, D stands for diameter, C stands for circumference. So this will be pretty easy to do. The first two columns are very, very easy. Okay, if I give you the radius, you should know that a radius is half of a diameter. Okay, so for instance, in this picture, BC is a radius, BD is a radius, BE is a, BA is a radius, the diameter would be AD, or two radii put together. Okay, so if the radius is eight, the diameter should be pretty easy to get, 16. The circumference is very easy to get as well. This formula tells you how to get it. It says take pi and multiply it by the diameter, and you get the circumference. So the diameter is 16. You're going to do pi times 16, and you're going to get the circumference. So 16 times pi. Now, sometimes you can leave it in terms of pi like that, and it'll be that many inches. Sometimes I'll, I'll ask you to actually round it or estimate it. Well, 16 times pi, what you're going to do? On your calculator, you're going to hit these keys. You're going to hit 16 times pi. And you're going to get the answer, which in this case happens to be, there's a huge glare there, but it is 50.27. I'm going to round to the nearest 100. The reason I did that was because it said 50.265. To round to the nearest hundredth, I worry about the third number. Since it's 5 or greater, I round up the second number. Okay. That's it. That's pretty much how it works every time. I might give you a different measurement and ask you to solve the other two. So let me give you the radius. That's all you have to do. Well, when I give you the diameter, you're pretty much going to do the same thing. If the diameter is 12, well, you know the radius is half of the diameter. So diameter is 12, radius should be half that, 6 feet. And then to get the circumference, it's the same thing we did up here. Circumference is still pi times diameter. So in this case, it's pi times 12 feet. Pi times feet. And it really doesn't matter if you write pi times 12 or 12 times pi. Multiplication is commutative, so it won't change the answer. Typically, though, if you're going to write it, if you're going to leave it in this form, leave it as 12 pi, not pi 12. That's, it's still right, but it looks weird. Either way, I'm going to estimate it. So 12 times pi. You see it right there. 12 times pi. And we get 37.699. That third nine tells me to, or the third number, the nine, tells me to round up. Move the 69 up to 70. So it's going to be 37.7. This is in feet, so so is this. I forgot to put inches up here. Okay, that's how these two work. These are pretty standard. The last one, right? Give you the circumference and ask you for the diameter and the radius. Now you're probably thinking those sound harder. They're really not. They really aren't. What I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this for just a second so I have some space. I'm going to set this formula up. I know the circumference. So I'm going to take this number and I'm going to replace C with it because C is circumference. So I'm going to write 34.56 instead of C equals pi times D. Let's do that. 34.56 centimeters equals pi times my diameter. Okay. Well, the only variable left in here, pi is not technically a variable, it's always the same number, it's always 3.14, etc., etc., etc. We can solve for d. Since these are being multiplied together, just like if this said 2 times d or 3 times d, to get rid of this, you're going to divide by it because it's multiplication. So divide by pi here. Divide by pi here. On the right side, the pi's will cancel, leaving you with d. 
the left side, you just have to do that division, 34.56 divided by pi. So where is the screen? 34.56 divided by pi. All right. Yep. No, I can't find the, there it is. 34.56 divided by pi. I've got chalk all over this calculator. 34.56 divided by pi gives me 11.000, et cetera, et cetera. You just need to round in the nearest hundredth, so it's just 11. So we find out the diameter is 11 centimeters, which makes this 11 centimeters. And then we do the same thing to get the radius. Every single time, the radius was half the diameter. So half of 11 is 5.5. Okay, that's that. What I'm going to do to make sure that you guys have a solid handle on this, so I'm going to skip these problems for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the answers down in the comment, comment box. Don't read it yet. Check it. Make sure that you can get the same answers. They're pretty quick, so they won't take you very long. What I'm going to do for now is I'm going to go over the visual problems, the problems where I actually show you a circle and you have to identify the radius, the circumference, or the diameter. They're done the same way, so this will help you finish these. All right. This problem here. This problem, you've got your circle. I tell you that BD is 18 feet. So you should probably figure out what is BD, what does that mean? Well, BD, let's look at it, from B to D, from the center of the circle to a point on the circle. That's a radius. So this is really my radius. And over here, that's like when you were given this first column. Well, to get the radius, we already know that. That's easy. The radius is obviously 18 feet. The diameter, is twice the radius, okay? For instance, AD, well, two times 18 is 36. That's done. And circumference is just that formula that we used just a second ago. So multiply pi times the diameter. You know the diameter is 36. So this is gonna be pi times 36 feet. You'll do that on the calculator, 36 times pi. And what you see is 113.097. That seven, the third number, tells you to round up. So move that 0 0.09 up to 0.10. So 113.10. So the circumference is 113.10 feet. Or you could say 36 pi feet, same thing. Or 36 pi feet. These mean the same thing, okay? It's just like me saying uh, two times three or six. They mean the exact same thing. So it really doesn't matter which one you say, because it's just a number times another number. You know, it's kind of a weird number. You don't usually see it. All right, two more problems, and then that'll be that. Let me move this over. Let's see if I've got that centered. There we go. That should do it. Two more problems. Okay. Same idea. Look at this problem. We got this circle G. We got points E, F, H, and I. And I tell you that HE is 22 yards. So look at HE and figure out what it is. Let's see, from H to E. Hopefully, you figured out that that is a diameter. So HE is the diameter, so that's D. And you can pick, put, put that in right there. D is 22 yards. All right, well that makes getting the radius easier. The diameter is twice the radius. So take half the diameter, you get the radius. Half of 22 is 11. So the radius is 11 yards. One more thing to get. Remember, the circumference formula is still circumference equals pi times d. So in this case, circumference equals pi times 22. Pi times 22 yards. And if we do that, 22 times pi, you will see that that gives us, oops, over here. 22 times pi is 69.115. Well, the third number, the 5, tells me to round up. 69.11 becomes 69.12. So the circumference is 69.12 yards. Okay.